just talking about that player that might be going to Madrid, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Tushemeni. Tushemeni, yeah. Tushemeni. Yeah, yeah. It looks like yeah. Madrid are going to sign him. 68.6 million. He's 22 years old. He's got five man of the matches. Some of his strengths include yeah. his aerial... I'm going to say some of his strengths include his aerial ability, his tackling, his ball interception, blocking the ball, concentration, yeah. and he's been in team of the yeah. year back-to-back twice. Do you think this mm. is a good sign? Very good player. Excellent. Uh, and the funny thing is, Chelsea be, Chelsea been scouting him for two years. Apparently, now. yeah, Chelsea were the first one. Along, yeah. yeah, last year we had a chance to sign him for forty million. Yeah, instead we just like we said, oh no, we will take Saul Saul on loan. Yeah, and oh, yeah, allow the guy him. to <laughs> allow the guy to. Um, yeah. Uh, he said he wasn't ready. Basically, he needed another year playing all this stuff. Blah 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 blah. And uh, obviously, it's, it's proven to be the it's proven yeah. to be the wrong decision. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I think it's a very good play. It, it was surprising if, if Madrid play play that money yeah. because I've never actually seen them pay that sort of money for a defensive player before. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's interesting know, so that that would surprise me. I, I think I think they might be able to get the fee down. Yeah, no, no, it's in, it's interesting to me because they're signing him after not getting Mbappe. But I've heard. There's two things why it's interesting. I've heard um, from a lot of Real Madrid fans saying stuff like, um, in a way, they're kind of happy they don't get Mbappe because they had so much more issues than just getting another attacking player. Mm-hmm. So they can focus on getting fullbacks and stuff and like that. But also because yeah. they still have Casemiro there, though I don't think he's coming to the end. I don't think he's at the end. They have Valverde. Yeah. They, have a few, yeah. they have a few players yeah. at that club that, you know, Valverde. So I, I was, I was kind of interested that, yeah, they, yeah. they're kind of Camavinga, yeah. Players that can yeah. kind of do a role. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. They have a lot of midfielders that they're just like, nah. We need to we need to shore up that yeah. that defensive mid already. But yeah, I heard that he's a revelation. Obviously, being in team of the year twice. I think once yeah. Madrid come in, it's very hard for a lot of te- for for um, a lot of other teams. It is in. like like it is it is because I think even if we were involved and were able to do this and start everything, mm-hmm. it, I think it's I think he's still going to Madrid. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I think once they, once they're serious about the player, mm-hmm. apart from Mbappe, I think they get him. Yeah, you know I mean, so. But I think I think it's yeah. it's interesting because a couple of years ago, people didn't really want pure DMs, but like over the last year or two, since fitness has really kicked up a notch, it's like DMs yeah. are becoming fashion now. You know, like three four yeah, years ago, you say to someone, you get a pure DM or this that whatever, they didn't really they didn't really fancy it. They kind of wanted everyone to be box to box, but now people want specialists, a specialist DM that could just yeah. tackle, kind mm-hmm. of you know what I mean? It's kind of because they've yeah, got that, free midfield, isn't it? Yeah, that's how football is, isn't it? It's all about mm-hmm. fashion and cycles. Like they see yeah. what's it. They're doing with Fab- um, Liverpool doing with Fabinho, what's City yeah. doing with Rodri, and they, they just follow suit. Isn't it? Yeah, course, I mean, that yeah. Just, that just, that's just footballers. But yeah, yeah. Um, on to something new. Obviously, you spoke about it just a bit earlier. It looks like since Mbappe yeah. signed his contract on 650 grand mm. a week, PSG have yeah. come out and alluded to the fact that they're kind of ready to get rid of Neymar. But mm. what's interesting is that none of the major teams allegedly have any interest in him, such as Man United, mm. Man City, Chelsea, Liverpool, yeah. Madrid, or Barca. The only yeah. team that can fo- afford him on his financial level are actually Newcastle, which mm. are deadly interested to get him, but he has little interest. Yeah. Can you tell me why you think none of the major teams want him? Um, I, th- I think, I think, well, Liverpool and City, I, I don't think, one, they don't need him. Mm-hmm. And also, I think, like, they're very system-based. Yeah. And they tend they tend not to set, to, mm. to sign those type of players that they have to change their whole yeah. system for. Yeah, I mean, they have a very specific way of playing. And the only buy players to, to suit that system, mm-hmm. you know. And he's at the stage in his career where he's not he's not like gonna come in and you can just learn and imprint your your way of playing on him. Like yeah. He's gonna come with all his baggage and and bring, you know, his own personality and the way he likes to play. So I I think I think Chelsea are probably one of the one of the only clubs in the top. And Man United, I would say. But then the, now they got some hearts, so they might have a different strategy. But Chelsea are one of the only ones where. We're, we're still we're still growing our system. We're still, we're still in, in 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 the middle of our evolution. So so we can we can adapt and have a player like that for a couple of years. It's, yeah, a, weird, I mean, where it's, like, it's yeah. a weird one because when I watch him, he's, he's like one of the only players that we can say steadily his whole yeah. career, performance, yeah. physical attributes, injury, everything's been steady. Yeah. Like it's season after season, yeah. he plays less games. He scores less goals. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He physically looks slower. Because even this season, no goals in the Champions League. Way less yeah. games in the league. Are less goals than normal. It's like he's steadily yeah. declining. So people are scared because, you know, 
if we're going to be honest, with a lot of them, certain players, you know, from Brazil, we've seen it in the past. And it's not just especially with Brazil, but we've seen it with yeah. Ronaldinho. We've seen it with Adriano. And it's like... Yeah. A lot, of players, players. Yeah, yeah. a lot of players would take a chance. A lot of uh, clubs would take a chance on someone else. But because we've seen mm. it so many times, people have that yeah. fear of like, oh, he just might be done. Yeah, and he yeah. might. He well, might listen, yeah. yeah, don't get me wrong. I'll take a chance. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those. I'm on the 400 like, grand. Like, like, yeah. 50 million. Would, listen, if, if yeah, but, but I would if I'm, if, I'm, if, I'm look, if I'm looking at it from the new owner's perspective. Like it's yeah. a marquee signing. Like you sign that player, everybody in World Football is talking about you. Everybody in World Football is watching. Every, like everybody's, eyes, everybody's eyes is on Chelsea, yeah, for the next uh, uh, season. Do you think he wants it though? Do you think he wants it when you watch him? I don't know. No. That, that's that, that's those, those are the only things. I don't think he's hungry. I don't think, I don't think he'll be tempted to come and, oh, let me go to England and, uh, mm. you know, what do you my stuff there or whatever. What's yeah. interesting is that you people forget, but he's not a Guardiola player. Guardiola didn't sign him. He was there after Guardiola. Yeah. Do you think Guardiola would have liked him prime Neymar? Is he Guardiola's type of player or no? Um... I think when he was younger, yes, because 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 if, if I I remember him in that Luis Enrique team, mm -hmm. man, he, he he didn't really play with ego. Like he played, yeah. he pressed, man, he played wide. Like he, he did everything the coach asked him to do. Mm -hmm. So him at that age, hundred percent, I think Guardiola takes him. I don't think he takes him now because he's, he's not trying to mold him. I think his like first that, season, whatever, at, I, think, I think I think he respects him as a player. Hundred percent. His first season at PSG, I think he was outstanding. And you know what's funny? As much mm -hmm. as managers say they don't want him. Yeah. It's not necessarily they don't want him. I think they don't want this version of him and they don't want to pay the wages. Like if tomorrow he said, oh, you know what? Yeah. I'm only one 100,000 a week and I want to be the best yeah. player in the world. I think most managers, I don't I even Klopp, I think they would take a chance. If he said, I want 100 grand a week, yeah, yeah 30 yeah. million and I want to be the best in the world. The guy was working hard training. I don't, yeah. most managers would take a chance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They would take a chance. Another thing, I, another thing I think that would help yeah. um, the Chelsea mm -hmm. aspect is that Tuchel has coached him for yeah. two and a half years, so he knows it. So it's different when you're going, you're going to play for a coach who knows you, knows the way you think, he knows what upsets you, what makes you happy, the way to talk to you, where you don't feel disrespected or whatever. So Tuchel would have that advantage with him, and and, and they, you know, it will cut through a lot of the you know. Let me let me, ask, let me ask you, why is it players like him don't want it? Because I look at Suarez and Suarez every yeah. game. No matter what team he plays for, no matter what season he wants it, like he wants it. even today. Yeah. If if another team came to Arsenal and said, "Yo, we want to win the league with you," the guy would probably take a chance. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's two things: it's, it's personality, yeah, yeah. and it's also, it's also skill level. There are very few times you see players of Neymar's skill level, and mm -hmm. they're still hungry at 28, 29. It just, yeah. it's, you know, like it doesn't happen when, when you're a phenom since you're 16, 17. When you've been told you're, you're the next Pele, the next Ronaldinho, or whatever, yeah. When you you you've had so much. Yeah, I mean, love and adulation from your country, from your mm -hmm. club. You you made so much, and as far as far as far as never made probably even half the money this guy is gonna make. Yeah, that's that's another aspect as well. Like I'm financially complete out here. As far as didn't again, again paid the big money until he went. It goes to Barcelona. Yeah, so that's what like you know. My time is 27. Yeah, I mean, this guy's this guy's been a phenom since 21. Endorsement deals, this that, playing for Brazil. He's probably thinking. He's probably thinking. People are saying that I'm that my career is finishing early. He's probably thinking I've done it longer than all these guys. <laughs> I've been places I was 17. See, so my, my thing, if my 